Okay, um, this is a interview I was looking forward to. It is, it's why I do what I do. Like truth be told, I didn't get into this business to enter, um, to interview or speak to, have conversations with people with fame and celebrity, um, to gossip. I, I, I truly do what I do because I really enjoy having conversations with the most interesting and fascinating people in the world. And, and, and I like to learn. And th this is this is one of them conversations where I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I think by the time we're done talking, I'm going to learn a lot of things that I didn't know, but I know I always wanted to know. So we got my man, um, we got a good brother here, Mikhail Coles. Welcome to the show, Mikkel. And to his right and to his left are his two wives, Miss Jasmine and Alicia. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you? Thanks for having us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, th thanks for giving me the time. Uh, I think this is going to be a great conversation. It's going to be very informative. And I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it. So let's get busy with it. Um, Mikkel, just to you, in particular, what what was your upbringing? Did you come up in a two family household? No, I, I came up um, actually a single family household. Um, my grandmother raised me. I, I went from being with my mom to being with my dad, then being with my aunt, then being with my grandmother, <laughs> and that's kind of who brought me the rest of the way. Got you, um, brothers and sisters. Yeah, I got three brothers. Okay, three brothers, three males in the house. Yeah. It, 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 this lifestyle that you have, you, you are literally sitting with your two wives. Um, yeah. for, for my own clarity, and again, like I said, I'm going to learn today. Is this polygamy or is it polyamory? It's polygyny. 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 Okay. Uh -oh. So polygyny, the, the difference is um, with polygamy is general, multiple spouses, multiple relationships. Um, polygyny is a man with multiple wives. Okay, polygamy is a man Indeed. with multiple wives. Polygyny. Understood. Okay, is this something that you always aspired to? Where, where did you learn about this? Not at all. Um, I actually came up Christian. Um, that's what I was brought up in the Christian church with my grandmother and everything. Um, my wife, Alicia here, um, introduced me to her church early on in our relationship. And for about 10 years or so, I wasn't interested in learning, you know, about Israelites or Hebrews or anything like that, Jews. Um, and then one day I just was speaking with a brother of the church and he started going over scriptures with me and enlightening me and showing me. And I was like, wow, I was seeing stuff for myself, you know, and learning for myself. And I, I joined the church, but actually coming to having two wives, Alicia introduced me to it. She wanted an additional wife in the relationship. Okay. So Alicia, were, were you born and raised into, into, the church and if you you didn't specify what church is 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 it the black Israelites that we see? Um, the Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. Okay. So there's a lot of different groups out there, so we don't want to be confused with some of the hate groups, you know. Uh, but we're with the Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. Okay, Alicia, for you, uh, were you raised into this church? Um, no, I wasn't raised per se. Um, I was brought into it when I was about, I want to say 18. My brother introduced me to it. Okay, and you know, I'm assuming that having multiple partners, uh, is, is that the norm? Is it is it is it something that from a from a spiritual uh, uh yeah, from a spiritual aspect is allowed? Yes. Um it doesn't mean that everybody has to do it. You know what I mean? So you, you can be in the church and have one wife and one husband, of course, you know, but it's allowed. Of right. course, there's a procedure like you have to court first, learn each other first and get granted permission by the heads of the church before entering into it. Got you. Before we go for, where do you guys live? We live in Virginia. Okay. In the area. 
Is this common in Virginia? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're special breed in these parts. <laughs> yes. Okay, so walk me through the beginning. You do 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 you like any other man? Do you just uh see Alicia and, and you're like, that's a that's a woman I want to talk to. She she looked good, she my type. I, 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 this is somebody I'm interested in getting to know, or, or did you kind of have an understanding of what you were getting into before you even started dating her? Well, when I got with Alicia, I wasn't in the church, so it was normal. I, I, I understand that. I understand that totally. I'm just saying, did did you have an understanding of what she was used to, or, or, or? No, no, really, not okay, at all. not at all. Um, it was just normal me, you know what I mean? Hanging out, getting to know each other and, and being compatible and deciding, hey, you know, you're pretty cool. I, I would love to be in a relationship with you. And we kind of never really sat down and said, okay, this is what we're going to do, be in a relationship. Right. It kind of just grew into it. I met him through his cousin. I was friends with his cousin first. <laughs> we grew up together, me and his cousin, um, Janelle. Alicia, the would you consider yourself, I mean, I, and I don't know how to ask this tactfully, but I'll just say, uh, are, are you bisexual? Are you, even before no. deciding you wanted uh, uh, another wife, what, what do you consider yourself? I'm not bisexual. I'm a straight woman. Okay. <laughs> 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 I know that says like, why in the world would you want to share your husband, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we 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 again. I, I'm going to learn a lot, and our audience is going to learn a lot. How how long did you two court? I don't think they were. Oh, yeah, court. <laughs> yeah, about three months. Yeah, maybe approximately three months. Okay, so when you say approximately <laughs> three months, it, it, is it three months before you um? Slept together, or was it three months before you got yeah, married? We was, like, what does that we mean? Was, we, was, we was hanging out for about three yeah. months before we slept together. Yes. Okay. How long before you guys actually got married? That was the marriage, according to our mm -hmm. beliefs. Yep. When we slept together. Okay. So, so it leads me to another question. Are you guys legally, legally married? Alicia and I are. Yeah. Yes. Okay, but obviously in the United States, you cannot legally have more than one wife. On paper, yes. Understood. Understood. Um. <laughs> <laughs> just ask them. They just fire away. We heard it all. Okay, so how, how long were you guys together before Alicia brought up, look, I, I, I want to bring another wife into this situation? Oh, there's a backstory to all that. Well, yes, me, it is. It, but <laughs> it was about before, maybe like eight or nine years. Yeah, I was about to say eight years. Yeah, and, and actually do it till the tenth year. Okay, can can, can you walk <laughs> us through what does that? And and I want from you, um, Alicia. What what does that conversation even look like? Because that that's a hell of a request. See, I'm not part of your church. So I'm just outside looking in and I'm sure I'm like 99% of the other people who are going to listen to this, like, you know, like what, what does that conversation, you, you roll over one morning after y'all woke up and say, look, I, I, I think we should bring another wife into the situation. No, I just, um, I pretty much, when I first met Jasmine, I, I liked her. Like, I love the way she interacted with her children. I seen that she was an excellent mother. Um, she was an excellent friend because we were friends, you know, before this became a dynamic with all three of us. But I just, I enjoyed her, like, um, her conversation and the way she interacted with her children. And I helped her with her children, too. Okay. So, again, how, how does the conversation, how, how do you go from, because there are many women who have friends. There are many women who admire the way their friends raise their children. There are right. many women who are married and they just look at it like, okay, I got a good friend, Jasmine. 
She is what she is. And that's <laughs> how does it how does even the conversation happen with your husband? I just I thought she was cool. And I was just like, you know, um, what about her? How about how about Jazz? And at first he was just like, you know, I I'm 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 cool, you know. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to have, you know, another relationship tied to our relationship. He wanted to it, he wanted it to just be us, just me and him. So <laughs> because there's a little backstory, and the jazz was trying to get it out for us. Um, it's, a little, it's a little backstory to when Alicia and I met. Mm-hmm. I was in a marriage already yes. when I met Alicia, and when we started courting, we got together, and that marriage ended up dissolving. Mm-hmm. Um, so Alicia was used to um, being part of a plural marriage, basically, even though that party at that time was not with it at all, you know it would be presumed that I was cheating, right? Because I was going to, let's just call it what it is. Like, yeah. like you're cheating on your wife. I was, I was cheating. Yeah. And um, we went years like that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, even with the children back and forth, with the children, she pregnant, then she pregnant, then she pregnant, then she pregnant. Mm-hmm. You know, and eventually I wanted to dissolve that marriage because we were toxic, you know? Um, and then that's why, I wanted to just be me and her. I didn't want to have to live that double life again. You know what I mean? Um, but when Jasmine came along, you know, her and I kind of clicked. We were getting along. We were having fun. We um, bonded. Yeah, we at bonded first. well at first. And, and she, was, like <laughs> she was real feisty. She was real feisty, you know. And for some reason, I, back then, the person I was back then was attracted to feistiness, you know. And she brought that, that fire, you know. <laughs> So um, we messed really well, and eventually we we courted, and yeah, she became my wife too. Okay, so let's go backwards for a second. One of the things that we didn't mention in this conversation was you have two wives, but between the three of you, there are 27 kids. 28. 28 now. Yeah. <laughs> 28. <laughs> 28. I just had one four days ago. Okay. Um, the story gets better. <laughs> 28 kids. We'll start with you, Mikhail. How many kids do you biologically have with, with your ex with your ex-wife? Biologically, I have 24. Good Lord. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, Jasmine, I, I I I heard them mention that you had children of your own. I'm assuming uh-huh. you had four children. Um, when I met them, I had two children prior from a previous relationship. Um, and okay. so all together, including the newborn I just had a few days ago, I have ten kids. You said you have ten kids. Yes. Okay, and Alicia, prior to you and Mikkel getting together, did you have any children? No, I had none. Okay, and and how many children do you have with Mikkel? Eight. Okay. Again, I I, I want to go backwards, so so bear with me for a second, because I just want to make sure that we understand the story in in its entirety. <laughs> Mikkel, I know you were cheating on your ex wife. She, you, you you're having kids outside of your marriage. I'm assuming that like that you you can't hide that you don't hide that. It's one thing to cheat. We're all men. And maybe you can keep that quiet. But when kids start to happen outside the marriage, there is no keeping that quiet. How many children did you have outside of your previous marriage before you guys got divorced? Um, let's see. 2010. No, because we divorced and we separated in 2009. Who was that? Five. five. 
And she literally stuck around for five kids before you guys got separated? Well, after, actually it was six. It was six, sorry. It's six. I yeah, see her. Um, yeah, I mean, we was, we was off and on again. Um, like it seemed like a, a, like a continuous cycle. We'd be together, we separate for a month or two, end up back together, separate for two weeks, end up back together, separate for four months. <laughs> it was, that's why I said we were toxic, you know what I mean? But now we're best friends, like we're cool. But it was about six. But also here's a little twist. Alicia lived with us mm-hmm. too. So hold on, Alicia, you lived <laughs> with your current husband, Mikhail, and yeah. his ex-wife? Yes. Were you having children? Yes. While you were living with, with <laughs> yes. <you know> <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. yes. So this was no secret. Even though your ex-wife wasn't with it, she right. knew you were slipping in the other room. Right. Having children with Alicia. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so I got it. Why did it take so long for you guys to separate, or why couldn't if y'all were all under the same roof for six children, why couldn't y'all come to the agreement that, that you three have established? At, at that time, she was she was not for it at all. When you say she, we're talking your ex wife. The ex-wife, okay. she, was not, she was not for it at all. Um, it was outside influences, and that just wasn't the way that she was brought up, so right. she wasn't willing to commit to that. Yeah. And she had a lot of people in her ear, even about us living together. She had a lot of people in her ear. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, I, I, I was living my best life. At times, she was living her best life. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, we would come back together and this is the part, come back together. This, it was like off and on again. <laughs> Until one day I was like, you know, I can't do this cycle anymore, you know, and I asked for a divorce. You you have to understand how this story sounds. You said that she was not with you guys becoming one unit, but she was with another woman living in your marital home. She was with another woman bearing six children to you, but she just couldn't, I, I guess, come to, to, to a peace with saying, look, we're doing this anyway. You know, no. what? wow. Mm-mm. Right. And like she wow. stepped out too, it wasn't just me, she stepped out too, you know. I That's understand. Probably why it That's probably why it worked, you know what I mean? But like I said, it was toxic. It was times that we loved each other. It was times that we hated each other. I understand. Okay, Jasmine. Yes. I understand you were friends first. Absolutely. How how does the conversation happen? You know what? Let me go a different way. Mm -hmm. Were you ever... uh, introduced to this type of lifestyle? Was this something you ever considered? Were you brought up in the same church as Alicia? No, um, I grew up Christian Baptist. Um, my parents and my grandparents were very strict on that. Um, especially my father, he has military background. He's the one who raised me. So this was not an option at all. This wasn't even a thought. Um, when I met them, I wasn't for it either at first. I was just like, what kind of mess is this? Um, you know, because I, my previous relationship, I dealt with that. Like, I was the main girl, and then all these other girls started popping up and pregnancies and whatnot, and I was like, I can't deal with this. And for me now to be in a situation similar to that, it's like, you know, I'm kind of getting laughed at a little bit from the other side, but it doesn't faze me. Um so, yeah, growing up, no, this wasn't even a thought. It was all like me. My vision was walking down the aisle to one guy, be stuck with the guy, have multiple kids if I want a kid. And that's the norm. You know, that's what we're taught to accept. And that's what we grew up on. But, you know, since I've been introduced to this, there's a different view and a different side to it. And, I mean, it's obvious that you can love who you want to love. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how, how does the conversation 
even happen because I'm bored of Christian. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Bible teaches you one wife, right. one husband, in the mm -hmm. story, to death do you part. That That right. is part of the vows, as we right. know. How does the conversation happen? And is it your friend Alicia that's having the initial conversations with you? Are you cheating with Mikhail? And then he starts, how, how does this conversation even come into y'all's world? And at what point did you even start to say, you know what, this makes sense for me? Um, actually, it wasn't really much of a conversation. It just kind of happened. Um, when I first met them, and like I said, I was a single mother with two children. Um, and I was just, you know, trying to get on my feet, figure out my own way with stuff, um, being very independent and whatnot. So it wasn't like a, um, a clingy situation because I know a lot of people would think that, you know, I was just looking for somewhere to put myself. But um, I guess things happen at the right time. Like I was, you know, looking for a friendship more than anything and, you know, peace and happiness at that time in my life. And they just kind of were the pieces to the puzzle that fit. So um, it wasn't really a conversation. Um, it just happened. It, it It grew into what it is now. But it was informational, like you know, yeah. we we told her what our beliefs was, right. how we operate, um, and even in that, we don't we don't force it on anybody. We just say who we are, you know. And if you want to learn more, of course, we show you. Right. You know, we we study from the same Bible, the KJV mm -hmm. Bible. You know what I mean? And we go over different things. You know, introduce her to the church, right. let her come out and visit and see if myself, even yeah. if the information being taught is for you. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and as we just became more and more friends and hanging out, you know, um, it was a time of DC. I had went into the hospital mm -hmm. to have, um, my daughter diamond, mm -hmm. um, this was in 2010. And while she was in the hospital, Jasmine was there helping with the other kids and everything and keeping everything afloat with me going to work. Cause at that time I drove tour buses, you know, so I was, I was in and out. Right. So, you know, she stayed to help, help with that. And we just, it just grew into a relationship. Okay, so again, back to you, Jasmine. Yes. I, you, you you answered the question, um, but I'm I'm really you, you're a woman. Yes. And you know, when, women are jealous creatures. Mm -hmm. You know, not to say men are not, but no no woman wants to share her man. Right. So again, I understand they introduced you to the church. You're hanging around with them. What does it look like when this thing clicks? Uh, you 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 raised Christian. Like how, how does how does it click to you to say, I don't care what anybody thinks, I don't care what my parents think. You have two children with another man. Mm -hmm. I don't care what my baby daddy think because because he definitely is going to look at you like what you, mm -hmm. you, you you're doing what with who and you're going to have my children around who mm -hmm. and it was that and the conversation did go like that with him but um <laughs> um I guess because I was an adult and I was you know able to make my own decisions and I saw for myself how it was not so much beneficial, but it it kind of fit with my life and what I was, you know, what I'm doing as a grown woman and raising my children that they can love who they want to love. You don't have to be, you know, stuck and pertain to something because, you know, children are going to do what they want to do when they get older anyway. But it wasn't so much as me exposing them to it and them being like, this is what you're going to do. It was more so of me saying, you know, I accept this. I'm OK with it. And that's all that matters. If I'm happy, that's all that matters. Because that's what my parents taught me growing up. As long as you're happy and you're good, no one can tell you different. If it makes you happy and you're satisfied with that at the end of the day, go for it. Um, but the flip side to that was there was some, um, was there jealousy and stuff in the beginning? Yeah, because as I said, previous relationship, I wasn't tolerating that. I was just like, uh-uh, it's either me or them. And then for me to fall into this kind of situation, yeah, it kind of, you know, had me thinking differently like okay maybe you know the previous relationship wasn't that bad or 
you know, guys were just being guys. I don't know, but it it worked out. So yeah, she left at one time. I did. She left at one time. Yes, she no warrant, no nothing. I just I come yeah. downstairs and dad and know. brothers there moving her out. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, this is like what a year into it. Yeah, I did. I, she, I guess after dealing with it for a while, um, emotions was kind of just running everywhere, and I don't know. I felt like couldn't really balance home, two wives, and everything. And I, I'm spoiled, so that kind of played a part in that too. <laughs> Me being the only girl, and I have four brothers, um, and I'm the oldest. It kind of, I felt like I wasn't getting my way, so I did. I stepped out the relationship and left. Um, and at the time, him and I had our first kid together. So I had three kids and I was by myself. Um, tried to get into another relationship, felt miserably. Like, I mean, miserably. It wasn't, that individual wasn't close to what I was dealing with with this. So um, even in the midst of that, that individual was living with me, supposed to be helping paying bills and stuff. And they were there to come to my rescue every time. So even with me stepping out, trying to have a whole nother relationship and live that one in one life um, and it didn't work, they still were there the whole time. Like, it's like they never left. And I was just like, you know what? Why am I even trying to run away from something that's obviously meant to be, so. Got you. Um, I guess this is to, to both women. Um, mm-hmm. we, we, we touched on jealousy. Mm-hmm. Is, is there any jealousy within this type of situation? Yes. Mm-hmm. There, there is. is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Either one of y'all, please. Uh, I, I would love Different to hear reasons, that. So maybe the same. <laughs> I don't know. But we don't really talk about the jealousy part like that anymore because we, well, we've learned to communicate. At first, it was just, I would have an attitude. I mean, I still kind of do, but I, that's, that was my way of letting you know I'm not satisfied with something. I would just walk around with attitude and not really be vocal about it because I thought if I spoke on it, then, you know, now you got to bend or something or kind of like that. And it's like I wanted to say a lot, but then I didn't want the other person to feel some kind of way. So I kind of just kept quiet for a while. But when it really started mentally messing with me and physically messing with me, I was like, all right, I got to say something because... I can't sit here and act like I'm satisfied or I'm happy and I'm not. And, you know, everybody's reaping the benefits of this relationship except for me. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yes. Um, the way I handled jealousy in the past, well, in the beginning of me and Michael's relationship, is I would pray. I would pray to God and I would read my Bible. And I will apply certain things to my everyday life. Mm -hmm. Um, I dealt with that from this the same dynamic at the same time. Um, I've had moments of jealousy, and for the most part, what really works for me is prayer and communication. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I totally get how you handle it. I guess Mm -hmm. what I'm asking is everything's out in the open. Mm -hmm. Right. What what do either of you ladies? What do you get jealous about? Um, I think I get jealous of how he is with her versus how he is with me because he doesn't really see it. But I feel because they have more of a history than him and I do, and he's more catering and whatnot to her versus how he is with me because I'm the mouthy one. So he tends to be more easy going with her versus how he is with me. And that's what gets me jealous and upset at times because. I can see, like, you can see it, you can feel it, like, the love, the consistency, and everything is there versus how sometimes it could be with me and him. And I get jealous because I feel like he has more time to spend with her. What what do you mean? Elaborate. Well, she is, she's home, and I'm at work. So, for the most part, well, I work in the evening time, so for the most part, I'll be home, but I'll be home late. So while you're at work, so while you're at work, you're processing it as he's spending more time with with his other wife. Yes, but he's not. (laughs) And that's why I'm complaining, because he's never here. So, yeah. 
and for the most part, he's he be busy. Yeah, he be busy. From what and I that that that's as of lately. As of lately, um, we have a large family, mm -hmm. so um, you think too much to <laughs> to to, to whom given much is much required, right? So yes. you know these kids have needs, yes, and we match them, but they also have wants and desires, right? You know, so you know I'm out. Building our future, okay. you know. Of course, I work full time, um, but then I also, you know, like, see, I'm an author. I have a book. I also act. You know, I'm in movies, um, and the acting career has really picked up. Like, I even booked my first feature film that this month up to July second, we're filming, mm -hmm. um, and this is a feature film. You know, um, I've been in series this year alone. I've been in ten movies. Mm -hmm. This is the eleventh one I'm working on. Four series. I've been on four episodes of Wild and Out in the Canada, <laughs> and I've been in four plays. So this this year, twenty twenty three, has really picked up for me. Um, so I, yeah, I am moving and shaking a lot, you know. But I try to get the time in. But once everything is set, then I, I'll create more time for the family. You know, not to say I'm not spending time. With, I'm home every day. Mm -hmm. I'm home every day, yes, um, you know, <laughs> um, but it just gives me sometimes I'm tired if I lay down or sometimes giving other individuals um, a time and attention because I have older children, I have adult children, mm -hmm. you know, and I try to spread myself as much as I can, you know. Understood. You know, I got to ask you, Mikhail, both ladies spoke about their jealousies and their insecurities uh as pertaining to being in this situation do you prefer to be with one of your wives more than the other no i love them you know i can't say i love them the same but i love them equally if that makes sense i don't love them the same because they're not the same individuals they're different they have different love languages you know what i mean and i try to cater to the love language um as far as controversy and, and things like that, I've learned as a man how to avoid that. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's just being quiet and withdrawn. You know, if, if she's upset about something and she's going, I got to let her have her moment, you know, because I don't want to pick at the moment, you know, and now it turns into a match of who's going to make who feel worse. I don't want to do that. So I just become withdrawn until we can come to a time that we can talk and talk it out. And then I'll explain things. Hey, what you was feeling this way and assuming, you know, that because I did this, admit that, no, nah, it didn't mean that. This is what it meant. Here was, here was my intentions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and if you feel that way or, you know, one, I apologize because that's not how it was meant. Sometimes that's not always received because we still in ourselves and we still in, you know, I know what I felt, I know what it looked like to me. So that's, that's what I'm stuck with, you know what I mean? So I just have to figure out different ways around that to get to her love language, you know what I mean? You, would you guys ever consider having another husband? No. Mm -mm. Nope. Would you ever consider bringing another wife into the situation? No. We joke about it, but <laughs> <laughs> he went. <laughs> I'm good. You know, I talk to a lot of guys and they swear like this is the life. And I'm like, you know, it's hard enough pleasing one woman right. than when you got two and you got to think about their feelings, their emotions, you know what I mean? What, what sets them off, what sets them on, and all those things. Um, anybody can go play. That's easy. Being a player, play, being a player, easy. No strings, no nothing, no commitments, mm -hmm. no nothing. That's easy. You know what I mean? But this right here, it takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And I have them too. I've been with Alicia going on 25 years in August. Mm -hmm. Jasmine going on 13 years in September. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm content. I'm set. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't looking for nothing else. I'm just trying to master this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I got to ask. You're still a man. You're still a man. Yeah. You know what? I don't even, I don't even like, I'm a man. So yeah, I notice pretty women, but I'm not even interested. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not even interested because I know behind every pretty woman is a, can I cuss? <laughs> yeah, feel free. 
the fucked up attitude. <laughs> <laughs> That, 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 that I don't need, you know what I mean? But on a, ser- on a serious note, you know, this is my family. This is what I service, you know what I mean? I service my family. I, lo- I look at it as that. Um, even when it comes to home and the housing situation, like I'm in the kitchen cooking. I'm up in the morning trying to help with the kids on my free morning, helping with the kids. I'm there in the afternoon trying to help pick up the kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Get them situated. You know, because I want it to be less on them as possible, because this is what I created. Okay, how big is the house that you guys live in? It's what, five bedrooms? Five, six, six. It could be classified six bedrooms. Six like. bedrooms. Four it's bedrooms. a fairly big house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and again, uh, pardon me, but is there a master bedroom that you share? Do, yes. do you, is it one bed? Is it is it twin beds or two fours? It's one, it's one bed. One? It's one bed. Just, just one bed. Just one nice big king size bed. <laughs> <laughs> and all three of y'all sleep in one king size bed? Yes. Okay, that's got to be uncomfortable. I sleep with my wife every night <laughs> in a king size. For them, it's not. You see, you see how for we're sitting right not. now? You see the way we're sitting right now? This is, this how, is how we actually sit. I got to sit in the middle. He's in the middle. Exactly. How, about, how about the other day? I'm laying on her side. She's not in the room, so I'm just laying on her side. She come and move over. I say, can you get in the middle of the time? You know, just give me like an hour. I want to take a nap real quick because I had to get up and go back out to go do a film. So I'm like, I, I just need a nap real quick. You go to, we got in a whole blown argument about Get off her side of the bed. And I had to get to the middle. I was so frustrated. I just got up, got dressed, walked out the house, and and left. I went. just tried to take over. I went around to the park and slept in the van. (laughs) I did not want to get in the middle that day. I didn't feel like it. I was over. We ain't the only ones with attitude. (laughs) Okay, so how, how does sex work? Alicia, you said you consider yourself straight, if, if I got that correct. You're not bisexual, you're not no. gay. No. How, how, if it's one bed, are you guys having sex together or are you having sex and one is sleep and looking the other way? Like, how, do, how does that work? I'll show you. Oh, the above. It's exactly how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to roll over and go to sleep. Like. <laughs> that's how it is. It's not scheduled. It's no, yeah, it's just whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so literally, Jasmine, because you you were the one that just spoke. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> they can be having sex and I'm, in the I, same bed and you are yeah. turned over on your way to sleep. Either I'm turned over or me most of the time because I'm a night person. I'm either watching TV or playing in my phone. Seriously. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it doesn't just me. In in the same room. Yep. And vice versa. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, because I was about to go to Alicia. I know you, mm-hmm. Mikhail, you mm-hmm. said they have different love languages. Um, well, what does that look like for you, Alicia? Well, I roll over to mm-hmm. I'll right to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, oh, okay, no problem. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to sleep. I'll be over here. Right. <sighs> <laughs> and sometimes they go from here to yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Okay, M- Mikhail, you ain't no spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Going from here to here, that ain't easy. I don't know. I think I built an immune for it. I don't know. <laughs> I think that we've been doing it so many years. I mm-hmm. built an immune it's for just, it. And, and like, I know it got to happen, so... And then sometimes I'll be like, look, y'all better both come on at the same time because. And that's all I got. I guess all I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so, do, do, we spoke about jealousy earlier. It is, is, and, and, and I understand this is, this is. We've is, heard it all. It <laughs> Would you say? We've heard it all, so bring it <laughs> on. Okay, so. <laughs> Is there one that he tends to please more than the other? And y'all are looking like, what the heck? Why does she always get all the attention? And by the time you done, you ain't got nothing for me? Well, I think that would know. Yeah, he's laughing because he, that's how I felt. 
recently. Uh, uh, speak, up, speak up a little, speak up a little bit. You, you, you sound I muffled. felt that way, but only because I was pregnant. So it wasn't much we could do during the pregnancy like that. So of course, don't let I felt, when I felt like I wanted to get some, he wouldn't do it. And don't let it fool you. This girl, this girl involved. was getting it all through her pregnancy no, no, until the not. end. No, he, at, okay. the end she having, the at the end, she started having so many complications, so right? And then you you know the different things, and then you that's get That's what makes you have the baby. The same way you got the baby in there, that's how you get it out. Nah. But <laughs> the, he the, wasn't trying to do it. The leakage and everything, I wasn't trying to have that in my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want my water to break <laughs> when him, I guess. I've been there when the water broke before. It almost broke in my truck. Yeah, and he got mad about that. I was like, girl, mm -hmm. if you would have got that in my truck. If he would have moved faster when I said I'm in labor, we would not have that problem. You, you know, and Mikhail, this is more for you. I, I know, I know you were raised by your grandmother. Um you if I got this right, you have three brothers. Um, yes. did, did you always dream? And I, and I understand you, you, you raised Christian, you, you're not even thinking about two wives, but did you always dream of having a big family? <clears throat> I thought I would have a girl and a boy. Yeah, none of us did, actually. I didn't think I would have kids at all. I was like, I don't want kids. And then here I am with 10. I actually, I, I wanted a big family because I'm one of seven children. My mother had seven children. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, you know, I'll just ask this: D tw twenty-eight children. I guess in 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 one way you could look at it is like you guys are all together. You're raising your children, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to each his own. Another way you could look at it is it's irresponsible. There's going to be some people who look yeah. at this and and say that that is just completely irresponsible. Mm -hmm. But what do you say to somebody who who forget not understanding y'all's lifestyle, but has a very difficult time digesting the fact that between the three of you, you literally have 28 children? Well, I don't. I don't care what their opinions are, Even what they think. Because here, here's the thing. I might have 28 children. I know brothers one and two don't do a third of what I do. Nope. I take care of them. They don't, they're not wanting for anything. You know what I mean? Like I said, all of their needs are met. Mm -hmm. The wants, maybe not so much, but we're working on that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the wants is met. Oh, yeah. um, we do outings. Mm -hmm. We afford outings. We take them out to dinner. You know, they're not getting uh, skimmed on life with it. They're not being able to see, you know, what the world has to offer. We take them on right. trips. We take them on vacations, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we we do all those things, family with them that you would do in a normal relationship with just two people and one or two kids, you know. How, how many me, of your children? I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I apologize. For me, it was. I mean, for me, it's just like I mean, you have women, you know, single women out here with multiple children, and you know they're making ends meet, you know, things like that. And the Bible does say, "Be fruitful and multiply." Right. So, you know. However you do it, whether you're one man, one woman, two women, two men, however, I mean, you can have as many as you please. None of my children are in jail. Nope. None of them in the dirt. Nope. Um, none of them in the hospital right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're all healthy. Mm -hmm. They all have a relationship. Yep. They all have a loving relationship. They all know each other. They all deal with each other, even mm -hmm. from the oldest mm -hmm. down to the youngest mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Even the older children that have moved away and have their own family in different states come back. Or they they talk every day. We got group texts, mm -hmm. we got FaceTime, you know, they talk every day. You know what I mean? So because that's what we once people them. once people get to know us they and they they see what's going on with us, then they're like, oh wow, damn. This we seems make, normal. We make you it know? easy. <laughs> we really do, you know. Um, it ain't easy. No, by by a long shot, it's not it's not easy. But the one thing that we have is determination. Mm -hmm. You know, we gonna we gonna set out to make sure that they okay first. They matter first, right? How, how many of your children are still at home? Nineteen. It's Two left. They came back. <laughs> <Yeah>. Two of them <laughs> left. They came back. Within your household, 
Within mm -hmm. your household, there are 22 people living there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. 19, 19 and then three of you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there, is there a such thing as privacy? Does that even exist? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, when we go to bed and we lock our door and tell them stay the hell out. <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody has no private time at different times. You know what I mean? How is that? How is that even possible? Well, sometimes you walk in here. If you come, sometimes you come in this house and you won't even know that that they're many home. kids is in here. Yeah, they're home. Right. They're in their you own. You know, because everybody, everybody's somewhere doing something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like my daughter Sanira, she will, she will. Where everybody's out congregating and enjoying each other, she'll, she'll disappear and be in the room by herself. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody gets a little alone time at different times. Now, the older girls, they're very strict on their privacy. They like to keep their door locked because the younger kids like to go in there and mess with them. So they definitely have this strict policy of get out of my room, don't come in here and bother us. And that's where they, because they're teenage girls, that's them. They like to have their own space. So and they get out at times. They get out at times. Like mm -hmm. sometimes they go with the grandparents, like a couple of them were just with her mom. Mm -hmm. They just came back last week and she's coming up again to take a few more down to Georgia with her than mm -hmm. for the for the summer. Um, some of them go with their godparents. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they get out too as well. Yeah, my some of them go out with the older siblings. And my um, brother, they're kind of involved too. So. How, how many boys and how many girls? We had 11 boys, and it was, what, 16, it was 16, 17 16 girls now. Yeah, it was 17. <laughs> okay, and what are the age ranges? My oldest will be 28 this year. Wait, 28? 29. 29. 29 this year. In December. In December. And the newborn is a couple days old. Four days. Four days. Mm -hmm. Okay. In... <laughs> <laughs> you guys you know I, and I heard you 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 mention this because you're talking about so much stuff that you do with them is it even truly possible to to give 28 individuals quality time uh alone time have one-on-one -on -one interaction know what's going on in literally 28 people's lives is, is that even possible yep because i'm doing it because mm -hmm. sometimes one of my sons might call me hey dad what you doing all right i'm on my way he lives in richmond i'm on my way from richmond let's go have lunch mm -hmm. and i'll literally make time to go sit down and have lunch with him mm -hmm. you know fortunately in my daytime job i am second in command um, so I pretty much make my own hours. So I have a lot of freedom to do what I need to do during the day mm -hmm. and still get done what I need to do at work. And, and what is your daytime job? Because, uh, you know, we're talking 22 miles of feed within the, your household. I'm a, I'm a, it's expensive. I'm, I'm yeah. a chief compliance officer. Mm -hmm. I'm the captain of a special police agency. Mm -hmm. Okay. We all work for the agency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I also all, all three of you guys work for the same agency? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so there's three, there's three different incomes coming into the house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. You know, to you, Jasmine, in particular, here it is. To this situation. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? No, I was about to say, hear this. Um, it's three decent incomes coming into the house right. um, we because we tried them. we we don't even get accepted for food stamps because we to. so for anybody out there ready for that question there it is is answered mm -hmm. you know what i mean so yeah they're pretty so, much so with literally 19 children three adults I, you know and i'm and i apologize i mean i grew up uh, my family was on food stamps <laughs> since since oh we got them before as young oh, as I can remember oh, we got them before <laughs> yeah y'all y'all are not even eligible for food stamps at the bare least our income is over the limit mm -hmm. so well, what about health insurance what about health insurance how's that we insurance. yeah we have that yeah we have health insurance, we have health insurance. 
Okay, um, Jasmine, I, I want to go to you for a second because you brought two children into this situation. Yes. Your two children inherited a crew. Um, <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> they love it? Yes. Well, my two, um, the two oldest, they're both girls. Um, they're teenagers. My oldest is 15 and the second oldest is 13. Um, since my second oldest was about four months, that's how long I've been involved with this. And they grew up knowing him as that because their fathers, because they do, they each have their own father. Um, their fathers were not involved physically, financially, any of that it was all him and her. So they grew up already acknowledging him as dad. Now, when they got to the age of understanding, I did, you know, let them know who their real fathers are. And um, every now and then they'll see them, but it wasn't like a consistent basis. Um, they do communicate with them, but it's not the same relationship as they do have with him. So They've been exposed to a lot, but they know what love is and they know what it's like to have a father in their life because of him. And gotcha. that was really my goal because I grew up having my father in my life. So I always wanted my children to have the same. Um, my mother wasn't really in the picture like that, but now she is. Like she's the world's greatest grandma to all the kids, not just mine, but theirs too. Mm -hmm. She spoils all of them. So, um, you know, thanks, you know, Things weren't the best in the beginning, but they're very well now. Got you. Uh, you, you know, I want to stick with the kids for, for a sec. Mm -hmm. How, is this just normal to have two mommies and, and a dad in the house? And mm -hmm. do any of the kids oppose it? Are any of them just super conservative? Like, I can't wait to get up out this house because this... <laughs> They all say that and then they end up coming back. Like the two adult ones that we have here now. <laughs> um, for the most part, they like the attention. Um, mm -hmm. For you. some odd reason, when they go to school, like um, the, the praises that they get, like one year, our oldest son, mm -hmm. his teacher set up a fake parent-teacher conference just to meet us because our son was going to school bragging about having a whole bunch of siblings. And my dad makes music and he was on TV and my mom does modeling and all this stuff. And she literally just was like, I just wanted to meet you guys because he brags about y'all so much. I had to see for myself. And I was just like, really lady, there's nothing really wrong with my kid here. And that, you know, none of that. She just, that was her way of meeting us personally because they go to school bragging about having this lifestyle and the kids are like, you got two moms ready? Well, do you call them both mom? And I'm like, yeah, they do. And they do. I'm mama J. She's mama A. Yep. That's how we're addressed. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I asked you guys, uh, the two wives, I'm, I'm speaking Alicia and, and Jasmine, about jealousy. Is there any jealousy from the kids? Do, do, do any of the kids look and say, you know, Mama J spends way too much time with, you know, these kids over here. And Mama A spends way too much time with these kids, or do they just accept you all as, um, this yeah, is mom yeah. and this is dad? Yeah, they, they get jealous over a little, yes. you know, some stuff. Like, um, now I had to break it down to my mom and them, um, because in the beginning, my mom was just only catering to my children. So when she would come over with gifts and stuff, the other kids did feel some kind of way because they're always getting pampered. But that was just her being a grandmother. She didn't think it was nothing wrong with it. She's like, you know, they're, they're my grandkids. But I kind of had to throw it at her like, hey, you know, the other kids are fun in some kind of way. And they do acknowledge you as Lala because they don't call her grandma. She is not a grandmother for the record. She says she's too young for that. So they call her Lala. <laughs> so, yeah, they call her Lala and they call my dad Pop Pop. So, um, <coughs> She didn't realize the effect it was having on the other kids. So she started doing for all the other kids. And because she was like, well, I wasn't trying to, you know, throw it in their face or anything. I was just being grandma, you know. Um, but now that she comes around and she has gifts for everybody, it's it's a little easier for everyone to accept and deal with because no one's being left out or, you know, they always feel like they always get to go out and don't do this. And 
we, you know, little things like that, because my family started, you know, coming around after a while and, you know, grabbing kids here and there. But now when they come to get mine, they grab hers too. And I'm like, hey, you know, if you're taking these ones, we'll take these boys too. Or if you're taking these girls, take those girls too, because this is my family. These are my kids as well. So if you're going to accept me and my package, then I need to see you accept me and my package. Right. I'm, I'm going to put y'all on the spot for a second. It, it, can any of you name all 28 kids' name in mm-hmm. order? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Mikhail. Just start with the top five. <laughs> okay. Ramika. Deron, Tanisia, Keziah, Michaela, Michael Jr., Anthony and Naya, Sanaira, Michelle, Malachi, um, Shariah, Yeshaya, Genesis, Diamond, Prince, Mikey, and then Sanaa, Ana, Mikael, I mean, Ana, I always said Sanaa, Ana. Sanaa, Ana. Well, come on, come on, Mikael. Come on. Sanaa, Ana. Okay, Sanaa, Ana, Mikael, Ian, um, mm-hmm. Natalie, Elise, Seven. Trey, which is Michael the third, mm-hmm. Hezekiah, and now Treasure, mm-hmm. and then there's Sierra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, um, <good> job. <laughs> yep, that's all of them. With only one set of good job. Good <laughs> job. Would you Would you say? With only one set of twins out of all the kids, because a lot of people ask, are there multiple like twins? There's only one set of twins out of all the kids. Wow. Wow. Um, would you guys support your sons or your daughters living this same type of lifestyle when they are adults? If they chose. If they chose. Well, actually, one of my daughters did choose it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. But then she realized it wasn't for her, and she quickly got out of it. Mm-hmm. She's still with the same dude, but right. they decided, you know, she's like, "This ain't what I want to do. No, I'm not good with it." Yeah. Is is any of your children showing? You know, th- this. It, not only is this for me. This is all I know. This this is what normal is. And 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 when I move out, or even for some who have moved out. This is the only type of relationship I consider. No, none of my adult children are in this type of relationship. None of them. And they, they're they like, I have one son, he's married. Mm-hmm. Um, I have another son, he's a gigolo. <laughs> 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 and the, the other son, he he has a girlfriend. Um, actually, two of them, they both got girlfriends. Um, and they just dating, mm-hmm. you know. Yep. Nothing extra. Yeah, we don't force it. No. Do do y'all have grandchildren by any chance? I have yes. ten. Oh yeah, we have ten. Almost eleven. I have ten grandchildren and one one grandchild on the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, so whoa, the story just got more interesting. <laughs> you have twenty eight children, and ten gonna be eleven grandchildren. Do, do any of the, do you guys ever have the grandchildren? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, they they were just here, what, a few weeks yes. ago? We had, what? A week and a half. Four? A yeah, week and a half ago. Yeah. They was here for the weekend. Yeah, they were here. And then I go I go to them, too. You know, like, mm-hmm. one of my daughters in Pennsylvania, she has three kids. I go up there and see them. Mm-hmm. Um, I have one down here. She has three. Mm-hmm. I go see them. I have one in Tennessee. I pop up on her. Whenever I go to Atlanta, I just it's two hours to her mm-hmm. house from, ten, from Atlanta to Tennessee. Mm-hmm. So I pop on her. She has two. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, and then my son Devon, he has three. He's right down, not too about three hours from us. Mm-hmm. You know, for most people, as they as they age, you know, they did the duty. They have the kids. They look forward to being empty nesters. <laughs> it'd, be almost... <laughs> it'd be a while it... for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all will be senior citizens, legitimately. <laughs> Had a kid. Do, do y'all look forward to being empty nesters? Do, is, is it even possible for y'all to ever be empty nesters? Yeah, I'm waiting on that guy. I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to 
I, I've, not, I've never really thought about it, to be honest with you. I never really thought. I don't know. Um, I know some of the kids are. It they might be brag too quiet for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah the kids are quiet. like, oh. like they, Actually, when I was pregnant with the last kids that I just had, some of them was like, oh, we're moving out now. We're we not dealing with no more kids. We're moving out now. We see you when the baby's old enough. And I was like, really? That's that was the response when we told them she was pregnant. They were not happy. The one <laughs> so, so was like, I'm moving out. <laughs> <laughs> She's the feisty one. Man. She was like, I'm going to Georgia with my grandmother. See you when the baby gets my age. And I was like, really? Okay. But now that the baby's here, give she me my baby. Down, give me yeah. my baby. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, we 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 hear about uh celebrities like Al Pacino, 83 years old, just had a child. Mm -hmm. um, what is it? Uh, who, who who's the guy who's always with him? Um, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, yeah. yeah. Seventy nine years old, just had a child. Mike, Mike, are you ever gonna stop having children? Like, yeah. is it in the, is it in the plan this, for you? Yeah, this was the last one. How are you so sure? But look at Alicia. <laughs> how, how old is your youngest? My youngest is six. Mm -hmm. I can do it. This one was, this one was planned. This one, yeah, this one was, this one was planned. planned. Yeah. Okay, so y'all are shutting down shop. 28 yeah, tonight. The factory, factory is closed. Well, this one was planned, but it was planned to have twins. Didn't happen, but nonetheless, a blessing still came out of it. So, You know, Mike, I, I, I know you're in the entertainment industry. Um, you're doing movies, you're acting. Have you guys ever solicited or been solicited to do reality TV? Because this is a hell of a yeah. Situation. We actually, I, I don't think I can say it in this interview, but we actually um, we were shopping a reality show for a while. I went with different production companies, and just the math wasn't adding on some, and then the situation wasn't adding on others. Um, but we just literally signed a deal May twenty fifth with a major production company. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're we're in the developmental stages with that. Are you guys in any way fearful, um, not for yourselves because you're adults, but for your children? I mean, reality TV, it, it, it you know. Well, we talk to them. We talk to mm -hmm. them. And, and it's, it's probably different than it was years ago because people look at reality TV as exploitation of your family, of your kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of different now because you have social media and so many things out there where where our life is being shown right. you know what i mean um so why not get paid for it right and we're in the process of of showing how it works right. you know what i mean that, now will there be some drama in it yes will there be some chaos in it yes but the children all of them know they can't capture anything that you don't give them right so they say so they, so they know already about the cameras and stuff and anything that they don't want on tv or see again they won't do and prior to the decision being made, we asked them if they yeah, were we okay them with them. And, they had you know, are they okay with us, you know, moving forward to do this? And they all agreed. So we never really just make a decision with just us. We always include the children because it's also going to have an impact on their lives as well. And there's two, there's two that don't want to be included. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. They know that they don't have to be included. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I heard you mention earlier that you work with Nick Cannon um, in Wild and Out. <laughs> about his situation, because it feels like almost every other month he's having a new child. But unlike you guys' situation, I, I don't know his arrangement, but I don't think he's married to any of the women. And, and there are a lot of women. You guys have a very contained situation, and it, and, and it appears to be a love from the top down. Not to say it isn't in his situation because we just don't know. But do you look at a Nick Cannon like, what What the heck are you doing? Or do you just understand? I, I really don't have an opinion on it because to each his own. I Like you said, we don't know his situation entirely and I've never discussed it with him. Um, the conversation that we had, he was getting insight on my family, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I don't, I don't know his arrangement. You know, if I look in the media and see some of the things, I see him spending time with his kids and doing different things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I know he could take care of them, you know, 
But as far as the nurturing part and, the, and the making sure they good, I don't I don't know. There's arrangement there. I don't know what conversations he has with the mamas or or the babies. Before I let y'all go, what is it that you're hoping to get out of this interview? What is it that you're hoping that people come to know, not just about you as individuals, but this lifestyle? Well, the one thing is people always like to judge and people judge what they don't know. So a lot of times we speak and we do these interviews to give them a, you know, a, a little inside of our life to see what it's really about. Mm -hmm. You know, because if, if you're just, if somebody just told you this man got two wives and 28 kids, you're automatically thinking like, like most people, what the hell? And ain't no way possible you can do this. And ain't no way possible you can do that. This, that, this, that, you know, and don't project your insecurities mm -hmm. on everyone else. Right. You know what I mean? Because because evidently we're doing it. We're built for it. Yeah. Everybody's not built for it. You know, I have some people that come to my house and they're not used to any kind of noise. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So so they can't stay too long. You know, um, <laughs> we're not, we not at the top of the list for birthday parties, you know, to be invited. Because yeah, we are. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we accept that. So we just want people to accept us for who we are. And before you make a judgment call, get some knowledge on it first. Right. You know what I mean? And we also have a campaign that they look in my bio on um, Instagram, The Real Mikel, um, for equality. We, we want equality. Um, so we have a petition to make it legal. Mm -hmm. You know, because people, the government shouldn't have control over how many people you marry or who you marry or whatever. Mm -hmm. So just like, you know, gays and lesbians can get married if they want to, mm -hmm. we want to be able to get married. Why can't she, you know, right. have, why, why does she have to go to the courts and change her last name when she got a marriage certificate and changed hers? Why can't mm -hmm. she have it too? They right. say, you know, our belief in two shall become one. Mm -hmm. So me and her was one when we brought this two in. Mm -hmm. And now we're all one, mm -hmm. you know? So if we can make that decision, you know, then the government should have a say in it. She awesome. should be afforded the same rights. Not not to just that. And, and I've proven, like, for instance, with medical. Mm -hmm. You know, when I, when I get the family plan, me and her are covered and all my kids are covered. Right. No matter how many kids I had, mm -hmm. the plan covers all of them. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what's one more? Right. What's one more? So she should be able to have health insurance through me as well. Um, she should be able to change her last name. She should be afforded all the benefits of a wife, you know, because we're not playing house, no. you know? Nope, that's serious. Mm -hmm. Also, also, we're trying to shut down all the stereotypes that are out there about a dynamic like this, mm -hmm. you know, about the black women and few and constantly, you know, yeah. there's nothing but drama. Giving it a negative problem. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not that yeah. it's 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 takes a lot it takes a village anyway when it comes to raising kids so why mm -hmm. is this not accepted as somewhat of a village mm -hmm. when it comes to the kids and a lot of people think that yeah this is just a sexual thing nope. no it's not it's more to it than that um does sex play a part in it yeah of course going to kids mm -hmm. i mean yeah that does but you know, it's not forced. Um, I'm not brainwashed because, you know, me being the younger of the crew, I've, for years I've heard, oh, she's brainwashed or, you know, they somehow like took advantage of her. And then, no, we I'm hear it all on the woman. internet. One person was like, that nigga ugly. Why y'all yeah, right. I mean, and, I, and I had to type back, I don't usually answer them, but I had to type back. I said, did you ever think that maybe I treat them good? Maybe you know what? what? Maybe I treat them good? <laughs> Everybody has their own preference of likes, looks, and whatever. Like, you know, it's not always the physical aspect that attracts you to someone. You know, it could be other things. Like, physical play a part in it because you yeah. got to be attracted well, to somebody, yeah, of somehow. course. Right. You know, but a relationship is not going to sustain on that alone. Right. You know what I mean? Jasmine, yeah, I, how much younger, uh, Jasmine, how much younger are you than them? Well, him and I are 14 years apart, and I think her and I are eight or nine years apart. So, yeah. <laughs> Got you. I should have asked you this earlier. How many bathrooms in that house? Four. Yeah. Yeah, it's four. I mean, four. it's four bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if this were, if y'all would have said <laughs> one or two bathrooms, I'm like, how did 22 people share? <laughs> 
<laughs> Lisa, even, even, even with that now. many, I get a knock on my door like, can we use y'all bathroom? Yes. They, 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 they still use, yeah, they like ours. <laughs> more, so. All right. You know, I want to thank you guys for, for being so candid and so open. This is obviously uh, a subject matter that most people, we look from the outside through the glass and, and we choose to come to our own decisions without ever asking the parties direct. And, 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 and I'm so grateful that y'all took the time and you, you were very open and honest and, and, and this is your life, it, it's clear. Um, I love Mike, the, the, the way you were just breaking it down. We're not playing the house. It, this is, we have a real thing going on here because it's easy to assume that this is strictly, you know, any man in particular would look and be like, my God, two wives, it, it, you got the best of all worlds. But anybody with one wife understand, one wife is a lot of work. So it, it ain't like I look at you and, and by any stretch of imagination, it's like this man's life is, is all rose petals and, and rainbows. Dealing with two women is a lot. Dealing with one woman is a lot. But I, I, I really do thank y'all for shedding light on a on a on a lifestyle that that most of us don't really have insight to. So so I'd say continue blessings and and keep it up. You know, I I I think that that what y'all are doing, many people might not understand. But here's here's the deal. You you got people in in single. Relation that, that are not happy. Uh, and and y'all actually seem like y'all got it figured out and y'all are happy. So so congratulations to y'all. Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, with that being said, <laughs> I'll let y'all get back to, you know, when I was coming up, it was a show eight is enough. I'm gonna let y'all get back to 28 is enough. <laughs> 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 and do your thing. But thank you so much for dropping in. I appreciate y'all and, and, and continued love, blessings, and all that you do. Thank you. Thank you. You have a blessed day. You as well. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.